Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa Loves Channel here, ready to do a review for you for Geek Legion of Doom. And I've got a treat for you today, at least it was for me. Um, I'm reviewing today a new movie by the name of The Laplace's Demon. This one is going to be released um, to some streaming service on demand services, iTunes, um, Prime Video on the 22nd of February of this year, 2019. Um, so keep your eye out for that. I'm not too sure when we'll be getting this one in the UK, but it is one for you to keep your eyes out for. It is well worth a watch. So this movie is Ital an Italian language movie. It's black and white. Um, I'm not going to give you a list of the actors in this movie because I do not want to butcher their names. The director of the movie, I will have a go, is Giordano Guilivi. Um, as I say, all the other cast are very Italian sounding names and I'm not going to butcher them for you. So let me try to give you something of a premise for the movie without spoiling anything for you. Um, this movie follows, to give you an idea of what the story is, I need to explain a, a piece of science to you. Yes, I'm coming at you with science today. This movie is based around the works of a scientist called Pierre Simon Laplace, hence Laplace's demon. Um, he lived in the 1700s and 1800s um, and he had a scientific theory. That works and theory all revolved around determinism. Um, when I say determinism, if someone, in this case the demon, knows the precise location and momentum of every atom in the universe, their past and future values for any given time are given or entailed. What that basically means is that um, fate, I suppose, is something that is in store for all of us. Our future is determined. Um, if we know specific values in life um, as to where we're going to be in, at a certain time and given place, the law of mechanics will basically tell us that you can predetermine every single decision in a person's life. Basically the opposite of the butterfly effect, for an example, given that any action that you that you carry out will cause a ripple effect through the ages. So Laplace basically tried to say he could determine everything that was going to happen in a thing or a person's in lifestyle. It's determinism. So this is what the movie is based around. I hope I haven't lost you. So this movie is black and white, it's Italian. Do not switch off. Um, I started this movie and I was a bit, mm, I'm not too sure. It didn't start to me with the sort of mood that continued onto the film and I really hope they don't lose viewers in that opening five or ten minutes because it would be a, a damn shame. This movie reminded me an awful lot of an old Twilight Zone movie the early Twilight Zones. Um, it was very 1930s in its feel, um, but fantastic. Really ominous, really creepy, really, really atmospheric. I loved the cinematography. I loved how this movie was shot, how it looked. It was beautiful. I It was very, very Italian in its style. Um, it may not appeal to everyone, but personally, I feel uh, movie fans, real movie fans that, that watch a lot of movies will love the hell out of this one. It may not appeal to the more casual movie goer that goes out for like explosions and action and, and like rip roaring comedies. This movie is more subtle, but I feel a real movie lover will love this movie. Basically, this movie follows a group of scientists who are trying to determine. I don't want to spoil this too much for you. They're trying to determine if a glass drops, a glass will drop due to gravity and it will break. How many pieces is that going to break into? Can that be predetermined by Laplace's demon? So they go to this mansion to meet this individual that says he is interested in their research. And they go along um, and they sort of are lured in there by false pretenses into this big, dark, creepy mansion. I don't want to tell you too much about this, but basically this story revolves around an individual trying to prove Laplace's demon's theory that everything that these people in this mansion will do from their forth has been predetermined and that person can, guess is the wrong word, that person will have predetermined all of these individuals choices and what they will do given any situation. It's very very Twilight Zone, it's totally like that. Um, there is a prop within the house of a miniature house and within that house are pawns which represent the people that have been called into that house. So they are pawns in a game. So the pawns within this model in the movie actually represent the people, the scientists that have been lured there under false pretenses and the individual wanting to prove Laplace's theory of determinism um, basically is using the pawns within this model 
and these pawns seem to be behaving in a way that proves determinism. Um, but will it continue that way? Will the individual's actions have been predetermined? It's very spooky, it's very creepy, it's very ominous, it's very atmospheric. Um, the performances were excellent. As I say, it's very Italian. Um, some people may feel in places it's a bit overacted. I personally loved it. Um, if you've watched a lot of old movies, a lot of movies from the 30s, that sort of era, there is a very... Um, a different way that these movies are acted, a different way people represent themselves and that's very much the case in this movie um, and I was totally sucked into this movie, I was totally glued to it from I would say the first five or ten minutes do not base the movie on that, wait until the individuals get to the mansion and then give it a bit but I, I haven't seen anything like this in a long time, this was really unique and for me as an individual that watches uh, too many movies um, it's difficult to give us something fresh and it's it's weird saying fresh because it has a very old style about it but it was really fresh, it was really innovative um, it, it was really unsettling and creepy and I love that about it it took me right back to being a child and watching these old movies with my family um, it's, it's just a really good, unique movie that I personally loved the hell out of um, I can't say enough about this, enough good things about this movie. So for me, in conclusion, um, this is just one of the freshest things I've seen in horror in years, but it's gonna, it's gonna unsettle you rather than frighten you, but there are moments in it that are really tense, that you feel the tension building. Um, so yeah, if I had to score this movie out of 10, I think I would give this one a 9. Um, very very high score for me but I genuinely did love the hell out of this movie um I really want to see this director coming out with with some more work a lot of love and toil has gone into this movie and it's very very evident in my opinion and I thoroughly recommend that you go and check this one out um I know I sure as hell will be getting my hands on a copy of this when it's released so let me know below in the comments if you've seen the trailer to this one and um, what you think if it sounds like something you might enjoy and um, we always like to hear your views um, and it's over a night and I'll speak to you next time.